Welcome to another video. Today I'm finally bringing you my clinch tutorial. There are other clinch guides out there on YouTube but I'm going to try and make this one a little bit more useful. So the first part of the video is going to be quite standard. I'm going to run through the basic clinch controls, all the different strikes that are possible, the transitions, the takedowns. The second part of the video though is what I'm hoping will be more useful to you right now. So I'm going to give you three basic tips about the clinch that you can put into practice straight away. You don't need to sit there practicing for hours. You can literally just turn this video off, start up your Xbox or your PlayStation and it will immediately improve your game. So you initiate the clinch by holding R1 and pressing the jab button. So that's square if you're in orthodox and triangle if you're in southpaw. You can throw uppercuts to the head by pressing either square or triangle, doesn't matter which one. Hooks to the head are thrown by holding L1 while pressing square or triangle. Uppercuts to the body can be thrown by holding L2 while pressing square or triangle. Hooks to the body can be thrown by holding L2 and L1 while pressing square or triangle. Holding L1 while pressing square and X together will throw elbows to the head. These do a lot of damage. Holding L1 while pressing X or circle will automatically take you into the tie clinch and throw knees to the head. Holding L2 instead of L1 will throw knees to the body. Now these strikes consume a little bit more stamina than the others but they do massive amounts of damage if they land. If you're on the receiving end in the clinch and you're trying to defend against strikes, holding R2 will block anything coming towards your head and holding R2 and L2 together will block anything coming towards your body. Once you're in the clinch you can use the left stick to push your opponent in any direction you want. So you can push them towards the cage, away from the cage, uh, absolutely wherever you want them to go, you can push them in that direction. If you're trying to get out of the clinch, whether you're attacking or defending, you just push the left stick away from your opponent and you'll slowly get out of the clinch. Um, also, once you're in the clinch, if you hold R1 and press square, it will transition you to this more dominant position where you can throw strikes to the head or the body. If your opponent's got you in the clinch against the cage, it's a little bit more difficult to escape because you can't just push the left stick back because the cage is blocking you. So you need to hold the left stick either down or up depending on your positioning. So firstly here, Colby, the person playing as Colby would need to hold the left stick down and he'll slowly shuffle out. Uh, you'll see Kamara is going to be up against the cage in a second and he'll need to hold the left stick up to slowly shuffle out. This takes a little bit longer so your opponent's got more time to potentially get a takedown or throw some strikes so it's a dangerous position to be in. Now just before I end the first part of this video I'm going to walk you through the different takedowns you can do in the clinch. So once you're in the clinch if you hold R1 and press X you'll take your opponent down with a hip toss. This will put you either into side control or side saddle depending on your opponent's stamina I believe. Um, holding R1 and pressing circle while in the clinch will ankle pick your opponent. You'll stay standing but you can pounce on them afterwards. Um, the dominant position I showed you earlier, you get into it by holding R1 and pressing square. Once you're in that position, if you hold R1 and press circle, it will do this big sort of back suplex kind of move and it will put you in top side control. Now we're moving on to part 2 where I'll be giving you 3 easy tips to immediately improve your clinch game on UFC 4. The first tip is to use the clinch to throw body shots. Now in my previous striking video I explained to you why it's so important to drain your opponent's stamina and body shots are a really really good way to do this. So when you initiate the clinch a lot of people immediately hold R2 to block their head because they're waiting for a, a big knee to the head or something like that and that leaves their body completely open so you can get a few free shots in. Now that doesn't sound like much but if you can do this like three or four times in a round then that's upwards of like 10 body shots you've got for free and they add up when you get to the later stages of the fight. Now just to compare, if you're throwing punches to the body outside of the clinch you're always running the risk of your opponent countering with an uppercut and doing massive damage to your head health but if you do it in the clinch there is no risk, they can't do that. So this is one of the simplest ways I've been using the clinch in the early days of UFC 4. My second tip is to use the clinch for takedowns and I cannot stress this enough, like I don't see enough people online using the new takedowns in the clinch. Now there are already so many things for your opponent to think about in the clinch. They're watching out for strikes to the head, they're watching out for strikes to the body, they're trying to push the left stick in the right direction to escape the clinch and on top of that you add takedowns in. Like it's really unlikely that they're going to block the takedown especially at this early stage of the game where people are getting used to the mechanics. Uh, it also doesn't help that the animation for the takedown is really really fast so it's difficult for them to block anyway. If you are on the defensive and you're trying to block a takedown in the clinch, 
it's the same way you block a normal takedown you just hold the back triggers and you'll block it um, but yeah anytime I'm going for a single leg or a double leg and I'm struggling to take my opponent down they keep blocking it I just go in the clinch and throw them down with a hip toss and it works pretty much every time my third and final tip is to push your opponent against the cage when you're in the clinch now when you're in the clinch in the middle of the octagon everything moves very quickly it's just very hard to get your bearings the opponent can be out of the clinch in like a second so I like to push them against the cage because I already explained earlier that when they're against the cage it's just a little bit more difficult for them to escape and even when they're pushing the left stick in the right direction the animation takes maybe two or three seconds longer and that two or three seconds that the game gives you is crucial because it allows you to sort of get your bearings and do whatever it is that you want to do you've got enough time to throw strikes to the body to go for the takedown whatever it is that you're trying to do in the clinch so that's why when I get in the clinch before I throw strikes before I'm going for the takedown the first thing I do is try and push my opponents back against the cage also another thing to note is that at this early stage of the game a lot of people just still don't know how to escape the clinch when they're against the cage they don't know what direction to push the left stick in so sometimes rather than getting two or three extra seconds you can get a solid 10 20 seconds because they're just stuck there they don't know how to get out all right that's it for this video if you found any of the information helpful like comment subscribe all of that it helps the channel out a lot in these early stages um, if there's anything in the game that you're struggling with comment down below and I'll try and make a video helping you out on that as well um, expect my next video to be up in the next day or two and um, yeah thank you very much for watching